hydroxonium ions. Eh? We learned that um, acids, eh, when dissolved in water, it forms hydrogen ions, right? Hydrogen ions. Eh? But these hydrogen ions, it can react with water. Hydrogen ions react with water. So these hydrogen ions, eh, it react with water. When you react with water, it will form a new species of ions. It's this one. Initially, it's H2O, right? After combined with these hydrogen ions, it becomes H3O, and the charge is positive. And this is called the hydroxonium ions. This is called the hydroxonium ions. This is usually what happens. Yeah, usually what happens. So acid dissolved in water, it forms hydrogen ions. These hydrogen ions will combine with water to form hydroxonium ions. And the ions that give the acidity of acid, okay, the, the ions that cause that solution to become acid uh, is the hydroxonium ions. Okay, is the hydroxonium ions. Uh. So it's the hydroxonium ion that causes uh, acidity. It, it's, uh, it shows acidity is because the hydroxonium ions, not really the hydrogen ions. Uh. Hydrogen ion is produced by hydrogen ions will combine with water to form hydroxonium ions. Uh, for example, sir, hydrochloric acid, when uh, react with water, it will form uh, hydroxonium, H3O, positive plus chloride ions. Nitric acid, we react with water, it will form uh, H3O, positive hydroxonium ion and nitrate ions. Uh, this sulfuric, sulfuric acid, when uh, react with water, it will form uh, two hydroxonium. Eh? hydroxonium ions plus uh, sulfate ions because it has two hydrogen ions uh, okay and uh, then we need two water to form the hydroxonium ions to compare this okay this with this uh this one i write the water on top of the arrow okay on top of the arrow so uh when the acid dissociates it before hydrogen ions uh, okay but this hydrogen ion will react with water to form hydroxonium ions and uh, if I do not write this, you can write this. Eh? Sometimes if they ask you to write the equations of the disassociations of SD, you can write this. Eh? Okay. Uh, you can also write, write this to involve the water in the equations. Eh? Okay. So you can also write this eh? uh, plus water. But if you plus water, then the products is the hydroxonium ions, eh? not hydrogen ions. This one, if you, you put the water on top of the arrow, then the product is hydrogen ions. Eh? But uh, if you put the water here, then the product is hydroxonium ions. Actually, in acids, uh, what, uh, what caused the acidity is the hydroxonium ion, not the hydrogen ions. Uh. But for the convenience of uh, writing chemical equations, uh, you can still assume that uh, acid contains hydrogen ions. But actually, it, it does not contain hydrogen ions. It contains hydroxonium ions. Actually, uh, it contains hydroxonium ions. But you still can assume that it contains hydrogen ions uh, for the convenience of uh, writing the chemical equations. Okay, so that is the hydroxonium ions. Uh. So hydrogen ion combined with water form hydroxonium ion, and this hydroxonium ion it causes acidity. Yeah? It causes acidity. Explain why sulfuric acid can conduct electricity. Okay. Now in previous chapters we learned that some liquid or some solution it can conduct electricity, and that is called electrolyte, right? Okay. Uh, and then we also learned that uh, acids and bases are uh, electrolyte. Okay, acids and bases electrolyte. And why? Why acids and bases are, uh, are electrolytes? Okay, because they can conduct electricity. Why acid and alkalis can conduct electricity? It has free moving ions. Uh, why? Because when it when they dissolve in water, they form hydroxonium ion and chloride ion. And these hydroxonium and chloride ions are free to move and therefore they can conduct electricity, okay? So because acid and alkali, when dissolve in water, they form free moving ions. Eh? So acids contain hydroxonium ions and sulfate ion, because this is sulfuric acid, eh? sulfuric acid, so it, con it contains hydroxonium ion and sulfate ion, which is free to move in the solutions. Eh? So these ions act as charge carrier when conducting electricity. Okay, because they have the ion as a charge carrier. So when you want to conduct electricity, you must have charge carrier. And the ions that form when acid dissolves in water can act as a charge carrier. 